Welcome to the grid method for division, which is very strongly related to the grid method for multiplication, which makes sense as we know division and multiplication are related. In this case, as we would for grid multiplication, I ask the kids to break the number down into hundreds, tens, and units. I've chosen a number today which doesn't have a remainder, but you can do this with remainders. I'm just trying to keep it simple. So I take 500, I'm sharing it out between four children, let's say $500. But I'm giving out, here I say to the kids, this is $100 notes, $10 notes, and dollar coins. I'm giving out in $100 notes, I can only give $100 to each child. If I try to give $200 to each child, I will be short $300. So I'm going to give them $100 each. That's a total of $400 I've shared out, leaving with $100 left over, which I can't share out as $100. I have to break it into $10 notes at the bank, and they will give me... $190, but this is in $10 notes. So I'm actually sharing out 19 $10 notes between four children. Now in my times tables, I know that I can't give out five lots because I'll be $10 short. So I'm going to give out four lots each. Four lots of $10 notes would be 16 $10 notes, $160. Leave me with $30 left over, that's three $10 notes, which I can't share out or I'll be short money. So I'm turning these into dollar coins. Now I've got a total of $32 coins which I can share out in ones to each child until eventually I've given out $8 to each child, leaving me with no dollars left over. So the answer is 592 divided by 4 equals 148.